Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to 10 biggest lies about Jesus. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Jesus is perhaps the most popular religious figure around the world. And with that level of popularity, there are bound to be some misconceptions and just some plain lies about Jesus. In this episode, I'll be sharing 10 of the biggest lies about Jesus that you need to know. Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and I want you guys to stick around till the end of this video just to see how many of these lies that you actually knew. Okay, so let's jump right into this lie at number 10. And this lie is that Jesus wrote the New Testament. When it comes to the Bible, in general, archaeology and the study of written sources have shed some light on the history of both halves of the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Old Testament contains the story of the children of Israel, among other things, before the birth of Jesus. And then the New Testament is from the birth of Jesus onward. However, although the New Testament is filled with many teachings of Jesus, Jesus, in fact, didn't write any portion of the New Testament nor did he write any of the Old Testament for that matter. Of course, he couldn't because he wasn't even born yet. Traditionally, 13 of the 27 books of the New Testament of the Bible were attributed to the Apostle Paul, who famously converted to Christianity after meeting Jesus in a vision on the road to Damascus, and he wrote a series of letters that helped spread the faith. Although the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that begin the New Testament of the Bible are believed to be eyewitness testimony, as well as the words and teachings, the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus are listed in their books, but no, Jesus didn't personally write any portion of the New Testament. Lie number nine, Jesus was a white. This is the most common image of Jesus that's been seen around the world. You know, he's light-skinned with a beard, he has long hair, and often he's depicted with blue eyes. But in fact, Jesus was a Palestinian Jewish man living in Galilee in the first century. Forensic scientists have done facial reconstruction of 2,000-year-old skulls from Palestine in order to get a sense of what Jesus might have looked like with olive skin, black hair, and a larger, not-so-pointed nose as he's normally depicted with. The lie coming at number eight is that Muslims don't believe in Jesus. Of course, Jesus is the central figure of Christianity, so he's often just associated with that faith. However, the Quran, the Muslim holy book, mentions Jesus many times as an important holy figure. While he's not believed to be divine or referred to as the Son of God in any way, he is, however, commonly acknowledged and considered to be a mighty messenger of God in the Islamic faith. Also, the Quran contains a surah in it titled Surah Miriam, and it contains many instances throughout the life of Jesus. This next lie may come as a shock. Jesus is Christian? Well, in fact, Jesus was a Jew. I did mention that a little bit earlier, but he was a Jew born in Galilee in a Jewish part of the world. All of his friends and close associates, his disciples, all of them, they were Jews. He regularly worshipped in Jewish communal worship as well. But a Christian is a follower of Christ. So Jesus himself is the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. So it wouldn't make sense to follow himself. Apart from that though, the term Christian only appeared well into the book of Acts of the New Testament, Acts chapter 11, when they were given that name by other people. But before that though, the followers of Jesus were just called something like the followers of the way, or they were just believed to be a Jewish sect that you would follow Jesus. This next slide is kind of funny, but Jesus was called Jesus. That is a, a lie. As we mentioned earlier, Jesus was Jewish by birth and by religion, and it therefore makes sense that he would have a Hebrew name. That's the language of the Jews. But the name Jesus isn't a Hebrew name, so we have a problem there. Well, this is mainly to do with language. The name Jesus is simply a derivative of the Greek translation of his real name. His Greek-speaking apostles were probably unable to pronounce his Hebrew name, which was Yahashua, also pronounced as Yeshua. But when the name is translated into English, it becomes Joshua. 
So interestingly, the Quran refers to Jesus as Isa. So Jesus, Joshua, Yahashua, Yeshua, Isa, all of them, the exact same name. Okay guys, we reached halfway in this episode, really hoping you're enjoying it so far. If you are, I do have a related video just for you. It's titled, The 10 Differences Between Muslim and Christian Prophets. Yeah, very interesting episode. We do side-by-side -side comparisons. I'll link to that below in the video description section for you to enjoy after you finish watching this one. We got five more facts to look at, so let's continue this episode now. At line number five, Jesus had 12 disciples. In fact, no, 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 he did not. The belief that Jesus only had 12 disciples is based on the misunderstanding of the three categories of Jesus' followers. First was made up of those who came to hear him speak or to be healed by him whenever he entered a town or a village. And the second category, you can label these people as those who followed Jesus from town to town. And these were called disciples according to the Gospel of Luke. Those were about 70 or 72 of them in total. Also, there's the third category of the followers of Jesus. Now, these are known as the apostles. These are the 12 men that Jesus appointed to go off on their own and preach his message independently without Jesus' supervision. So these weren't just mere disciples because they didn't just follow the teachings of Jesus, but they also went to share the message, start new churches in different parts of the world. Also in the book of Acts of the New Testament, it's mentioned that about 120 of Jesus' disciples were gathered in an upper room. So just to recap, Jesus had many, many, many disciples but he appointed 12 of them to be apostles. Also, one common lie is that Jesus only taught when he became an adult. Jesus was a preacher as an adolescent as well. The Bible describes a time when Jesus was 12 years old and he was found by his parents preaching in the temple to adults. And according to the Bible, this is what it has to say. After three days, they found him in the temple court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. So not only at 12 years old was Jesus asking questions to other religious leaders, but he was also teaching them and giving them answers according to the text. Also, according to Islamic teaching, we find in the Quran the following verses about Jesus talking while he was in the cradle as a baby. Jesus said, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. For lie number three, did you know that there weren't three wise men? It's a common scene depicted in the nativity scene, especially around Christmas time, but it does report that some wise men came to Jesus when he was born, but it does not say how many, contrary to the common belief that there were three of them. None of the early church fathers suggested that these wise men or magi were kings either. The term magi used in the Bible is plural. There were apparently at least two of them, but there could have been several more. The Bible simply mentions three gifts that were presented to baby Jesus, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We also know from the Bible that Jesus was not a little newborn when they arrived after the Magi visited Mary. Jesus was an only child. This is the lie at number two. Jesus was actually the firstborn, not an only child of Mary. According to the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 13 verses 55 to 56, in this scripture it says, isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Aren't all his sisters with us as well? Where then did this man get all these things? And finally, the lie at number one, Jesus' birthday. Well, the Bible does not specify a day or a month that Jesus was born, but one problem is that a lot of people believe that the birthday was December 25th, but the Bible doesn't indicate that either. An issue does come up with dating the birthday in December though, is that it would be very unusual for shepherds to be in the field 
at this cold time of the year when the fields were unproductive. And normally the practice was to keep the flocks in the fields from the spring to the autumn. Also, winter would likely be an especially difficult time for pregnant Mary to travel long distances from Nazareth to the town of Bethlehem, which is about 70 miles. And it actually wasn't until the year AD 440 that the church officially associated December 25th with the birth of Jesus Christ. Also, according to the Islamic belief, the Quran mentions in Surah 19 verses 25, Jesus talking to his mother Mary and it says, and shake toward you the trunk of the palm tree, it will drop upon you ripe, fresh dates. Typically, palm trees begin to bear fruit in April or May and are ripe for picking around August to September. So yes, when we look at the biblical accounts and the Quranic accounts, it just wouldn't necessarily make sense for Jesus to be born on December 25th. And common belief is that he was born sometime in the fall, maybe even early spring. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode. These were 10 of the biggest lies about Jesus. Let me know down in the comment section, which of these lies did you know about? Also share your thoughts and comments about anything that I shared in this video. Look forward to hearing you down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the recommended one that I have for you. The link is in the video description section. And until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated. See you soon. Later. very interesting video i mean for the first one some christians actually walk and say jesus wasn't even born in december many people now are sharing the same thought as to jesus not being born in december so i think i kind of knew that one then the second thing did re did jesus really have sisters and brothers i would love someone with information on that to just tell me what you think does the Quran actually say Jesus had brothers and sisters? Does the Torah actually say that? Do other books that talk about Jesus actually say that Jesus had sisters and brothers? So the name Jesus, was it, is Jesus' name actually Jesus? Because according to what he said, I'm a little bit confused. So if Jesus was actually Jewish, why tame his followers as Christians? Did Jesus describe his followers as Christians or is just the audience watching from afar that termed his followers as Christians? I mean, it's a very, very interesting video and one would love to ask more questions, but feel free to answer the questions that I've asked. If there's something you have to say, feel free to comment in the comment section below. If there's something you want us to react to, drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget do subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction and a big shout out to the FTD channel. They're, they're always dropping some great videos.